Hornets of Brad, and um, finally starting my video blog, and I've been uh, planning this forever. I actually did some recording, some preliminary stuff, and I was stuff I was planning to put up way long ago over the summer. But now that I'm here starting it, I'm starting it for a totally different reason, and um, some things have really changed sort of my my plan for my life in the past couple weeks, or I guess I should say it's in the process of changing. I, so I'm not really sure how it's going to end up, but um, I just want to share with you all everything that's been happening because it's been really big. So, yeah, I'm in Barcelona. <laughs> And, um, that's awesome. That That's more than awesome. It's incredible. You can see my, over here my, uh, Barcelona scarf, my FCB scarf, and the maps and stuff on the wall. But, um, honestly, the thing that's really changed my life just the past few days has been Lansing. Um, Lansing's my new boyfriend, and, um... He's another guy in the in the program. The it's called CAS, the Consortium for Advanced Studies in Barcelona. So he's another American guy, and um, I met him just like the second night I was here or something. <sighs> and it was all just unexpectedly perfect and really out of nowhere. And I wasn't looking for anything like what I found, or I wasn't. It was just very unexpected and really just sort of swept us off our feet. And so now I'm in love for the first time. And that's changing a lot. I, um, over the summer, the, the things I was starting to write, um, I was laying out some of my plan for my future, and that involves, um, a lot of personal development stuff, a lot of sort of renewing my life, or rather restarting it, um, since this is kind of like the first part of my life that I can really get to start my own, you know, like without, um, this is my life rather than my life as part of the family's life or something, not the family's, well now that it's time to move past from the family, I'll just say, and, um, and so I was expecting to just be really on my own, like a really, a lot more self-reliant, and um, I was expecting to toughen up and be become better at using, at getting um, social interaction, getting, getting um, <laughs> more, what's that word, become more extroverted, just become, um, become more socially, socially able, become more socially aware, and, um, you know, sort of break out of this, uh, the depression that I'd been in at school, because I have hadn't had a good time in school, and I haven't told a lot of people that, because during most of it I was, I didn't really feel like it was okay for me to be so unhappy as I was, but really I, I don't like Chicago at all, and, um, and I've just felt lonely there. And really, since I left home, I was expecting to do the same thing I was planning this summer, which is break out on my own and become, be full of energy and see new things and just define myself for myself without anyone else. And so that's what I was going into this thinking. And, and I was all revved up about that. I was, I still had misgivings. I wasn't, I didn't choose for the family to end, you know. It really is just part of growing up, I suppose, but I didn't choose that. I wasn't ready for it. I didn't want to, to leave and to grow up. And, you know, of course, the divorce, I mean, it's a whole another issue. But but I was going to make the best of it, you know, and, and get on my own and, and figure things out. And so that was my plan up until, like, three days ago. And then... Well, and now I'm in love with Lansing, <laughs> and that changes a lot, I think. Um, being with him is wonderful. It's just, it's so natural, so easy, and I haven't told a lot of people this either, but 
I've been really worried that I am just not capable of falling in love. That, you know, it would never happen to me because people fall in love with me a lot. <laughs> I mean, it, it sounds silly, but, but guys have fallen in love with me a lot. And I've never really felt that same way. And the closest I got was with Steven. But I now see that that was not even, you know, in the ballpark. And I sort of knew it wasn't really love. I mean, I... The most consistent thing I've heard about love is when you're in love, you'll know it. And now I know it. And it's just, like, the simplest fact I know, you know? Like, I think, therefore, I am. Like, I'm in love with Lansing. <sighs> and so, I've still sort of been getting over, like, experience with Steven. Not getting over, but just... Well, I've been worried that I'm depending too much on Lansing, and I'm spending too much time on him, like, you know, being too socially dependent on him or whatever. And I I was really getting stressed about that, getting worried. But, um, but I'm starting to change my mind a little. <laughs> and I'm thinking that this is just so much different than being with Steven. I mean, there's a lot in common. There's even an uncanny a lot in common. But it's not going to end the way it's going to end with Steven. I don't... There's nothing wrong with being... With relying... With depending on Lansing. Because I love him. And he loves me. And... I've talked to him. I could even see us being married. And that's a shocking thing to hear from me. It's, it's really a shocking thing. <laughs> to be honest, I... Since I became old enough to sort of start thinking about it, I've, I've never really understood marriage, or I've never, like, I've certainly never been drawn to it, mostly just because I, I definitely think that, um, sexual monogamy is not such a great deal, idea, and over the past few years, well, at least since my parents divorced, I've been wondering whether, you know, emotional monogamy is even a good idea, and I've just really, well, I just didn't see it in the cards for me to find one, one guy that I would want to be with, and that I want to spend my life with, and just, whatever, you know, the, the whole thing, it's <laughs> just all of the, all of the cliches and everything, it's really been perfect. But, um, but now it happened, you know, it was, it was unexpected, it was totally unplanned. And so I think that, that I'm going to focus on it. I'm going to, I'm going to let it happen. I can't, I can't stress about like, you know, I'm depending too much, I'm spending too much time. I mean, of course I need to find balance in those things, but this is changing the whole direction of my life. I thought that I would have to start out a life where I don't have a family, you know? Like, where I, I would have to just be strong and, like, to, you know, find friends and just sort of construct a, an existence that would be more self-reliant. But, to be honest, I'm really relieved at having found a family, just with Lansing. Um, and I think I'll probably be happier for it. I'll, I'll develop in a different way. I mean, I, I still plan on becoming more, you know, better at small talk, better socializer, just different. My goals haven't changed altogether, but my mindset's definitely changed. I'm here. I'm not here, like, all on my own. And I don't really want to be all on my own. So, I guess that's about it. Everything's great with me. And, um, I'm about to start classes. And soon as Katie's gonna be in Europe, I'm gonna visit Bobby. I'm gonna go do Thanksgiving with Kevin and Katie. And, um, well, everything's just going great for me. So, thanks for, thanks for listening.